Okay, this one, uh, this one's a little bit of a change from some of the problems we've been doing. You have sine on one side and cosine on the other. So what we want to do is try and see if we can change uh, both variables to be the same. So I actually know that sine squared is 1 minus cosine squared. So I'm going to substitute this in for this. And this equals 2 plus cosine of x, uh, rainbow. I get 2 minus 2 cosine squared. That still equals 2 plus cosine. Subtract 2 from both sides. You're going to see that the 2's cancel here and here. Get everything onto the same side. So it would be negative 2 cosine squared x plus, uh, wait, that would be minus because I would subtract it from both sides. Right, minus cosine of x. So it would be minus cosine of x. This is equal to 0. I'm going to factor out uh, a negative 2, uh, not negative 2, I'm going to factor out a negative cosine because I, I don't want the negative sign inside the parentheses. Just, just personal preference. You can solve it with the negative sign in or with it out. I just think it's going to be easier for me to solve it with it out. Uh, this becomes, I'll have inside now, because I took the negative sign and, and one of these cosines out uh, here, I'm going to be left with just two cosine, and it turns to a positive now, and then plus one equal to zero. There. So, now we're at this point where a times b equals zero. Let's deal with this first part. This would mean that negative cosine of x equals 0. Again, I don't like this negative sign, so I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. This turns to cosine, uh, and this turns to still 0, right? Negative 1 times 0. So if negative cosine of x equals 0, then positive cosine of x also equals 0. So we look between 0 and 360 for our answers for cosine, uh, and that happens at 90 degrees. And it happens again at 270. So these are this is two of our answers so far for this problem. This is if A is true. Second one would be if B is true. Okay, well that means 2 cosine of x plus 1 equals 0. Subtract 1. 2 cosine of x equals negative 1. Divide by 2. Cosine of x equals negative 1 half. When is this true? This happens at 120. Uh, and it won't let me scroll down, so I'll just go up here to the side in a different color. This happens at 120 and 240. So these are the two answers if this is true. These are the two answers if this is true. And those four answers should satisfy this equation and actually this equation.